Hey, what's going on guys? It's Joel here with as many reviews as possible and today we're doing the review of the Position USA Blue Suede Shoes 2.1s. Alright guys, so these are the follow-up to one of my most favorite weightlifting shoes of 2016, the original Blue Suede Shoes. Reason being, these are some of the most awesome looking weightlifting shoes that you can possibly get. Obviously starting with the upper being its suede leather in the rich color of blue. It's also got some white accents. This is a leather material. Then you've got your dual sided laces and then you've got the nice position logo embroidered on the metatarsal strap as well as right there on the back next to the heel which is actually a wooden heel and that's another feature that makes the blue suede special all of the heels on the blue suede shoes are hand carved and stained they're very nicely finished and they are a one inch effective heel height. The outsole is a Vibram outsole and that's an upgrade from the just generic outsole of the original 2.0s. You've also got a perforated front for a little bit more breathability and overall compared to the 2.0s the fit of the 2.1s is a little bit more narrow. So. The original ones I actually liked because they were a little bit roomier inside. These ones are a little bit more fitted. Now the insole is just a really thin, flimsy insole. So I took that out and I actually put my own insoles in. Now the construction of the blue suede shoes is probably its biggest fault. Uh, these shoes are handmade in small batches. They're not mass produced like your Romaleos or Addy Powers or even the Legacy Lifters. So there can be some defects here and there. With my shoes, on the left shoe, predominantly, there's a hot spot right here, right here, and then right in this under part right here. So this area sews down into under where this connects and you can actually feel it bulge upwards. It's not completely or totally uncomfortable and you can definitely lift with it, but you definitely feel it and it's kind of annoying to have it there. Especially when you have a $200 pair of weightlifting shoes, you don't really expect that kind of defect to be something you'd have to worry about. Now, performance wise, the blue suede shoes are excellent. Obviously power delivery is going to be 100% every time. This rubber outsole in the front is incompressible, it's super duper solid. Of course the heel is super duper solid, you're not going to be able to compress that. Forefoot flexibility is pretty good, the upper is pretty flexible, the outsole is fairly flexible, obviously the, the wood's not flexing so the only flex point is right about here. But for the most part it flexes pretty well and the sound that it makes when you stomp these shoes is freaking badass. Now the need for a one inch heel is debatable depending on who you are and depending on your mobility. I usually recommend a higher heel for people that have really bad ankle dorsiflexion and longer femurs. But otherwise, compared to the Adidas Lice Tongues that I, I reviewed earlier this year and I didn't really like the one inch heel, the positions are a little bit better because of the drop. It's a little bit more gradual than it was on the Lice Tongues. Uh, I still feel a little bit forward when I do cleans. When I do front squats, it's not necessarily an issue because I can set up a little bit better. But snatches, I'm able to catch in a much more upright torso position. And that helps a lot because I have really bad upper thoracic mobility. So for snatches, I actually prefer the higher heel. So I was really excited to hear that they were including a Vibram outsole with the position 2.1s but in practice they don't really work as well as I'd hoped they would compared to the original positions. 
they work okay and they're not the slipperiest pair of shoes that I've ever used but they're also not the greatest as far as grip goes on the platform. So a couple more durability issues that I have with the Position 2.1s are the logo is coming off of the tongue, it's fraying a little bit. You'd expect that to not be a, an issue but it's once again it's not the end of the world if it comes off, it's just cosmetic. But one that I have noticed when I took off the shoes was that the heel kind of has a little bit of a wobble to it. Like most people, I take off my weightlifting shoes by pulling them off the heel. So over time, that might get worse. It's kind of slight right now, but you can definitely feel it. And I've never felt that on any of my other weightlifting shoes, so that's a little disheartening. On my right shoe, this little loop is coming super duper loose and slides down actually pulls the strap down even more the strap is in my opinion unnecessarily long when I pull it over it almost touches the ground and then of course I think the laces are just a little bit too long on the shoe those are little things here and there but for a $200 weightlifting shoe that is handmade I'd expect a little bit more quality to come from that all things considered, I still think the Position 2.1s are still one of my favorite lifting shoes. They're just awesome. They look cool. They're cool to have on. They make an awesome noise when you stomp on the ground, do any kind of landing. Performance is excellent. I'm not going to give up my Legacy Lifters and I think if I were to go for a weightlifting competition or if I were to go for a PR, I would use the Legacy Lifters just because I think they're more of a competition shoe. But in everyday lifting, I'm going to probably grab the Position 2.1s because I think they're just badass. They retail for $190. They also have the Redfords and the Eastwoods coming out in January that retail for $225. Those have the same last, but they just have updated materials. And they also come in white and black and red, so they, all, they look a little bit better. Uh, depending on who you are, if you didn't want the blue, you could go for something a little bit more low-key in those two shoes. You can check out my full review of the Position 2.1s, uh, as many reviews as possible.com. And if you guys have any questions about the Position 2.1s, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video, a thumbs down if you didn't, leave in the comments why you didn't. And as always guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because it helps me out a ton.